I came to LSD actually in 1976, so I had altogether 19 years here, and then after 13 years, we, we found ourselves at the beginning of the academic year with no principal, uh, and they, they didn't know what to do at all, couldn't find anybody at all, and in desperation they came and asked me would I become the acting vice principal, and I'm afraid I said no, I won't. Acting vice principal is a, a nothing job, it just doesn't do anything for you. You've got no principal to refer to. So I said, no, I'll be the acting principal, but I won't be acting vice principal. And they said, okay, so I became the acting principal. But uh, it, it, was, it was really good. I'm sure the board only meant this to last for a short time while they found a proper principal. Then after six months, they came to me and said, well, will you become what they called principal proper? Uh, and so I, I, I heard that with a bit of a sinking feeling. And I still remember walking round and round LST, LBC as it was then, round and round and saying again and again out loud, but I don't want to be principal. And it just occurs to me that maybe that's the principal, the main qualification for somebody to become the principal, that he doesn't want to be. Ambition for Christians can be a dangerous thing. But anyway, I, I became the principal, uh, and what I can say is that during the six years that I was principal, I never really had a problem with the staff here. We worked together beautifully well. Uh, I don't think we've ever given proper credit to some of the people who, who helped me. David Bradley was one, brilliant. And then I, I had a, a wonderful secretary, Val Edwards, uh, and there was a, an accountant, young young lady. She was a, a little dynamo with energy, and she was the accountant. Uh, and we had, we had a budget, we worked out a budget, and Joanne would come to me once a month with the statement of the accounts as they were then, uh, and she'd give that to me and come back again in oh, two or three days after I'd had time to digest the accounts uh, and, and uh, ask all my questions. And she would make sure that the various departments all stuck to their budgets. Oh, she was a little terror, I know, but she was brilliant, just exactly what I needed. So I had, I had good years. The college was reversed. We, we, we were having difficulties, but things turned around. I still don't know what I did right, but something was right and, and we got the whole thing turned around. But it's been, it, it's been a brilliant part of my life, not easy by any means. We were getting our degrees validated by the Council for National Academic Awards, CNAA, it's a government body, but then the government decided to abolish it and left us to try to find a university that would validate our degrees for us. Uh, and eventually we went to Brunel University. Uh, I'd been a student at one of their early manifestations. It was a technical college in those days. Eventually became Brunel University. But uh, they, they served us very, very well. So altogether, I must say, uh, 19 years. Came back for another four part-time. Uh, I, I thoroughly appreciated. I, I was so pleased to be to be able to, to contribute to uh, LST in the way that I, that I did. It was a nice part of, of, of the whole life. Um, I, I started out as a missionary. I was 19 years a missionary in Ethiopia. And I've often said that everything that I know that's worthwhile about Christianity, I learned from the Ethiopian Christians. They were amazing. The way they looked after one another, it wasn't just theology. It was practical in their daily lives. Their churches, they never had evangelistic services in their churches. They, the evangelism was done on your way to market. Uh, and, and no wonder that the church grew and grew and grew uh, amazingly. So I had 19 years out there with a couple of revolutions thrown in. Uh, altogether a, a great experience. 
then come to uh, LBC as it was then. I never thought I'd be alongside such great people as, as Donald Guthrie, but, but it was a privilege to be to, to get to know Donald. Uh, so years here, and then retirement. Uh, it, it was funny actually because when they uh, when they invited me to become principal, I said to the chairman of the board, "You're going to have to change the regulations." And he said, well, "Why?" Uh, I said, "Well, the problem is that the rules say that the principal has to retire at 60, and I'm 59." Uh, they had to change the regulations to allow me to carry on to 65. But after 65, I retired, and the churches in Ethiopia invited me to go back. All the churches invited me to go back, not just one denomination, and they asked me to start a graduate school for them. So I, I, I did that, and today the Ethiopian Graduate School of Theology is actually bigger than LST, all under Ethiopian leadership. I, I, I agreed to serve for three years and no more. I said, after that, you've got to have an Ethiopian director. They accepted that, and uh, I did three years, came back to this country, uh, and then uh, it was retirement again, wondering what to do with the rest of my time, and now I'm chaplain to four of the local care homes, and that's a great ministry. Uh, anyone who's got spare time, older people, it is a great ministry to have. I'm privileged to be able to go and visit these places and, and bring some kind of comfort to, to their, their, their residents. It is good. I'm sometimes asked, well, these chunks of your life, the years in Ethiopia, the time at LST, the, the time back in Ethiopia again at the graduate school, your time with the care homes, which is the most important? And I would say, I don't know which is the most important. I'll probably find out before too long. I'm 89, so I shall find out before long which was the most important. But all of them good. And I've been very much aware of the fact that through my life, because I haven't had an agenda for myself through my life, God has been guiding me. I believe that. I do believe that. And I believe that he can do that for, for others too. Ambition, having an agenda of your own, plans of your own, I'm not too sure about that. But I'm grateful that I think, I think I've not got in the way of what God wanted for me over these years.